Uh, then then the, uh, the new explorers went to Mexico where there's a lot of daylight sighting uh, activity going on and there, there are a lot of uh, cam uh, quarter. Cam uh, quarter sighting. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go to another, uh, one other call. Hi, you're on The Experience. Yeah, I just called in a minute ago and mm -hmm. I, was, I, I just glanced over the article and they talk about some chemical that they uh, used to slow down uh, some kind of nuclear reaction that they've been finding at these, uh, I can't think of what it was called here. Uh, but they were finding this, the radiation there, but they were also finding a chemical that, that helps to slow down nuclear... Fallout or something? Not, not fallout, but uh, what do they call it when it, when it like over exerts itself, you know? The, uh, Blows but, up? <laughs> no, they have a melt, it, it's a meltdown, but it's a, there's a chemical they use to slow it down when, they have, when that happens, when they have the meltdown. And it's called... I want to say radion, but I can't find it in the article here. And I, I, I've already read the article. I, that's why I was surprised when I is, seen it on there. Is that in the Popular Mechanics article also? Yes, it is. And this stuff was found at these areas. Hmm. Uh, we'll have to look at the claim. Well, definitely, that, yeah, we'll definitely. It's like a commercial for Popular Mechanics. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we, um, we'll, we'll definitely look for that and try to read up on that article. Okay. Um, thanks again for letting us know on that. Um, actually, he did bring up a point. I, re I can't remember what show I was watching. It was on one of the A and E or something. The uh, that there were some sightings that uh, a lot of them hover over um, nuclear installations or, or and are, yeah. And, and there was one um, report where actual um, either uh, oh, I don't know the coordinates or destinations where the missiles were supposed to go were changed due to the fact or just because the UFO was hovering over the. Does that? Do you find a lot of the sightings do circle around areas of m military installations, or uh, they? Yeah, they have been known to do that, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's got everything. He's, here. he's, he's, a he's well library. prepared. This this is a book by our good friend uh, Barry Greenwood, who, who has done a lot of documentation of the government's involvement in the UFO situation, FBI, back. CIA, and uh, it's it's a very good read. It it ends. Uh, Picked it up through the Freedom of Information Act. Yeah, uh, three hundred government. The the sources that that are written about here have been picked up through the Freedom of Information Act, and it, uh, if you're if you're interested in what's been going on in, on uh, military installations, there is a, a wave that uh, took place around 1975, uh, through in SAC bases throughout the the Strategic northern Strategic Air Arctic. Command. Yeah, but there's no longer a SAC. <laughs> well, that's right, uh, and uh, uh, this well this is this is a documentation of that. But uh, as, as far as our uh, experience recently is concerned, uh, we, we haven't run into too much to do with the military. Hmm. Wow. But there's definitely a lot more exposure now on television, you know, with the Learning Channel, Discovery right. Channel. And there was, um, what about, maybe not necessarily the military, but what about uh, NASA? Do you ever get anything or hear anything from, uh, like, a astronauts or high officials in NASA itself, because I don't well, know—is NASA officially a government agency, or are they their own? Right. Little, when, uh, like Jimmy Carter, Carter, office. Jimmy Carter was president. One of his campaign promises was he would divulge uh, information about his sighting that he had, and he turned it over to NASA. And NASA, in turn, said, "Well, tell us about a, something that happened, and we'll report it." And, and it just bounced back and forth and dropped it there. So it, mm. we never did find out what Jimmy really saw and what NASA has. But. Was it Gordon Cooper that spoke in New Hampshire? Gordon Cooper spoke... Uh, Gordon Cooper, astro former astronaut Gordon Cooper, who is now in his 70s and a little bit frail, spoke at the New Hampshire MUFON conference last September. Last fall, right. Mm. In September. And, and he told about his own experiences as far as sighting UFOs are concerned. Uh, he was stationed in uh, Germany. Um, and he and uh, other members uh, of his squadron saw echelons of UFO uh, UFOs fly over the base, okay, and it was, I guess, reports were filed on it. Uh, I don't think any documentation about it has ever been recovered. He also told about being stationed here in the U.S., and I don't know, I don't remember the year, and he told about a crew of photographers uh, who, f who photographed a landed UFO on the base. Hmm. A UFO actually landed on the runway. He saw still pictures of, of movie film that he put in a pouch and mailed to some general. Wow. That has been his experience. I mean, he's a very, he's a very reliable and Incredible. trustworthy right. individual. He says most of the stories about what NASA astronauts have seen and, and what has happened to the military 
are, are nonsense. I mean, you know, they're, they're just not true, the stuff that appears in the tabloids. But from his own experience, this has been his experience. And uh, he has never been told to shut up. Uh, he has not, not been given any oath of secrecy. And he's there talking about it uh, to the public. So it's, it's individuals like this that, that uh, continue to bolster our confidence that mm -hmm. there's something really there, that something is going right. on, and uh, it, it has a physical basis and, and it's worth investigating. If, if there is something going on, I personally believe there is, and I, I personally believe that the government for some reason doesn't want us to know just yet, um, and if my assumptions are correct, do you think we will ever see the day when everybody will just say, oh, what the hell, you know? <laughs> Let's get all these people to shut up and just say, yeah, this is what's going on and this is why. Well, I think Personal. Jules and I have heard for years rumors of the government's going to break the news next we month. Have, we have file cabinets <laughs> full of documentation <laughs> of cases and it so, goes on and on. But I, I think eventually they yeah, will. Yeah, I think we've kind of lost faith. <laughs> uh, but, you know, with, with uh, communications the way it is today, it's really difficult to keep it under wraps and, and right. suppress it. Okay, we're going to take a little bit of a break right now if you have any questions or comments. 343-3130 uh, is the...